Okay, now we are putting app loving ads in our app. That's right. You want to monetize your app, make some money. We're going to put app loving ads in the app using Unity. Anyways, I got a couple of, uh, I got a sample scene here, very sample scene, very basic. I got a banner button, an interstitial button, and a reward button. And we're going to be putting the respective ad on the button, except for the banner. The banner is going to show up down here, and the button is simply going to be a close the banner. So we have our ad manager script taken from my last video. If you haven't checked my last video out, please do, because you will need it to use these ads, or you will need to put Google AdMob ads in this project, because this project uses Google AdMob. It's mediated. It's really simple and once you get the initial setup done then you could use that setup for all other ad networks it's great i'll put a link up there it's probably going to be somewhere that way near the top and uh let's get right into it first i already have a sample project second i have already let's go over here to app loving if you go to zones you could add zones. I already have a banner, an interstitial, and a rewarded zone. And applications. We got to start an application. It's an Android. You could create one. Zones. I'm just going to create a quick test network. Let's call it test. You're going to say it's banner, platform, Android, or iOS. You pick non-rewarded full screen, which is a interstitial, a rewarded, and a banner. You could either choose flat CPM or optimized by app loving. I choose optimized by lap, app loving. Save it. As you could see, your zone was created. And now that you have all three zones ready to go with the zone ID, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go right into AdMob and we're going to go to apps. And do I have the app done yet for, for ad? App loving? No, I don't think so. So we're going to create a new app, Android. It's not on the Play Store yet. App name is going to be App Lovin. And add an app. All right. We're going to create ad units. We need to add three of them. One's going to be banner. Create. I'm just doing this really quick. One's going to be interstitial. Interstitial create ad unit <clears throat> and the last one is going to be rewarded and re and it looks like there's a lot of different ad types coming up but we're going to deal with what everybody deals with for now so we got our ad units all ready to go we're going into our mediation now and we're going to add a mediation group so we're going to create mediation group choose a format banner is going to be our first one for android all countries and territories we're going to add the unit from app loving and it's going to pick the banner yes that's the one we want to mediate now to add i don't think we have to add a source because i don't think app loving oh it does have a source so we're going to pick app loving from the bidding source we have a partnership agreement so they're asking for an SDK key. All right, to get an SDK key, we go down here to account in up love and click on keys and our, our SDK key is right here. We're gonna copy it, we're gonna paste it into the SDK key, done. And our app loving is inserted. Waterfall, we're gonna add, add source, app loving, select, report key okay we need a report key go back to keys this is our report key we're gonna copy it we're gonna paste it if you like copying and pasting guys this is the perfect job for you we're gonna type in a minimum manual ecpm which is 0.01 it will automatically tune itself so don't worry about it and tell me what you think about my new uh my new camera location Okay, so we're going to need the SD key, SDK key once again, the application, and the zone ID. 
So the application key. All right, your application ID is here in applications. And if you click here on monetize, sorry, click on applications, click the down arrow, click all applications here, you'll see the package name. This is your application ID. So let's put it there. And then a zone ID for the banner ad. We're going to go to zones and our banner ad is right here. And we're going to paste that and done. Okay, app love and banner is done. Name it. Ad mob is off. App love and is on. We got it saved. We're going to create. So the banner is done. We're going to create a interstitial now. Android. And let's call it app love and interstitial countries and territory add units where's app loving there it is interstitial selected bidding add source where's app loving there they are we need an sdk key again let's go to account keys copy our sdk key post it in there done waterfall App love and select app love and minimum 0 0.01. That will increase over time. Type in the SDK key again. I don't know if that's the right one. I think it is. And then the application ID, which is over here in applications. Change that to all applications. And this is your application ID, I believe. And zone ID. Zone ID for the interstitial is that one, 707, paste it, done. Our interstitial is done. Moving on, create our last mediation group, which is our rewarded. Android continue. Uh, app loving rewarded. Just so we know where it's coming from, app loving, choose it, done, bidding. We're going to add a source, app loving, the SDK key. Once again, let's go for keys. I'm getting faster and faster the more I do it. Copy it, paste it, done, add source, app loving for waterfall 0 0.01, continue. SDK key, and then we're going to need an application ID, which is here inside package name, I believe. Post it to zone ID, which is rewarded. There, copy and paste it. And the optimization is complete. Whew, that took a while. Okay. Now that the mediation is done, let's go to the project. Let's go to apps. Let's go to app loving. And let's go to add units. We're going to need that. Let's go to our application in Unity. And as you could see, I'm in the screen game. <coughs> this is stock. I haven't imported any scripts, only the ad manager script, which inputs. Google Ads onto get the the buttons. First thing, right click, click import package. We're going to custom package and Google Mobile Ads is going to be the first one. So let's import that. Make sure all are selected and import that. Okay, that SDK is imported. Remember, guys, if you want this script, check out my last video. If you want to know how to put Google Ads in your game, check out my last video. It will teach you if you already have Google Ads. Cool. Enable Auto Resolver, which should resolve everything. Okay, that is done. You can see we have no errors now. Last step is to import the app love and SDK and adapter, but wait. But wait, before that, let's go to Assets, Google Mobile Ads, Settings, and you got to type in your Google Mobile Ads app ID. Mine is over here. So I'm going to copy the app ID, 
and I'm going to post it in here. So you have to do that. Once that's done, everything should be good. You could open it again. You could see it's still saved. Now we need to import the SDK. But you might ask, we already imported it. We did, but we got to import another SDK, the one for app loving and Unity. So import package, if you want to download it, description or download link is in the description. That's what I wanted to say. So you could see it right here, app loving Unity adapter. That's what it is. I got the right one. Yeah. Mediation, there it is. That's the one. We're going to open it and we're going to import it. Even though everything is checked, it's going to override everything, which is good. <clears throat> and once we import this, one thing I got to do, if you use my script, you must do this too in order to get your ads from it. You're going to need to change the app IDs on your on the script. If you already have that configured, you don't have to worry about this step. If you used my script, you're going to have to use this step. So basically, you want to go to your Google Ad Mob, to the app. For me, it's app loving. The ad units, and you got banner, interstitial, rewarded. So this is where you're going to have to go to the script, which for me is ad manager. I will leave a link to the script in the description. But once again, guys, check out my first video on how to do all of this. Um, you're going to see right here, you could see the banner ID. So let's just fill this in quickly. Banner goes in here so that we're targeting the right app. So let's delete that. And let's pump in the new one. That's the banner. Interstitial is next. Okay, that's the interstitial. And finally, the rewarded ad. Let's put it in there. Put it in there. Delete, paste, and we're good to go. And after this, I'm just going to add the functions to the buttons actually let's create a let's create an empty game object to put our script call it ads let's put our ad manager script on that we're going to click on banner the button on click we're going to add a function which is the ads function and then we'll click down ads manager and this is the banner so we're going to close the banner here interstitial add drag the ads object function ad manager this is the interstitial so i want to show the interstitial down here this is all relating to the script oh i forgot to add the on click drag the game object over function ad manager and this is the reward ad so it's going to load the reward ad let's do it trial run to see if our test ads show up and then we'll try the real app so we got the test banner that turned off the banner there's our interstitial and there is our reward and we are good to go so if you saw the ads you might be happy if not guys download the app populate it view the ads so I could get a CPM so I could share with you guys the CPMs of all these apps so make sure to download the apps play around with them watch the ads and uh, soon I will have a video of all the CPM and how much each ad network pays so use it use it and use it like the video if this helped you like the video tell me what you thought in the comments guys and if you had experienced any problems Anyways, that's it for today. Till the next one. Cheers.